What's up guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for tuning in. Right here behind me is my 2023 KTM 500 EXCF and uh, we're gonna do some power mods to this thing right now. So not only is it gonna go back to its street setup because right now we do got the, like, the actual off-road wheels and dirt bike tires and no mirrors and no lights and all that fun stuff, we're gonna do that. But secondly, we're gonna be adding about 20 horsepower to this bike, which is freaking wild to think because these bikes stock are like 42 horsepower. All these parts on this table here behind me is gonna add about 20 horsepower along with a ECU tune. So I do gotta take the computer out of this thing and send it in to get tuned. And all this stuff right here is from bestdolesportbikes.com. I am not sponsored at all. I paid the entire $780 for all of this stuff. So hopefully it freaking works. So if you're like me and you have one of these bikes, you know that this thing is super, super plugged up. It runs really lean. It likes to flame out or stall out all the time. It's a little bit more sluggish than you think it would be, and it gets really hot, man. The fans are always on, like the radiator fans are on constantly. So last year I did just spend like a, a measly $30 and I did an O2 sensor delete and you can't see it because it's up underneath the gas tank. However, it did help out a little bit. It didn't stall out as much. So it did kind of richen the bike up a little bit. However, I just think it's kind of time for some more. So all of this right here is kind of what you get in the big bundle, like the big power bundle kit. It is $780, so it doesn't look like a lot for that price tag. However, that does also include the ECU tuning, which we gotta get the computer out of this bike and off to them to get tuned. So all in all, basically what we have here, we have the whole, like the end cap here for the exhaust. We have an intake tube, exhaust manifold. We do have a spark arrestor for that exhaust. We do have new fuel rail. We do have new inline fuel filter system. And I'll be honest with you, dude, I do not know exactly what this is. So that's something I'm gonna have to figure out here in a little bit. But all in all, like I said, all this from Best Dual Sport Bikes. They do give you some stickers, which is pretty cool. And that's their information right there. I'll also, of course, link their information in the description below. But uh, we'll start getting this bad boy torn down. See, uh, well, actually first, first things first, you can listen to see what it sounds like now. Stock. Yeah, 1,200 miles. 1,200 miles. If you have one of these bikes, you obviously know how it sounds. It's the last time bikes gonna sound like that, guys. Let's get going. All right, first thing I decided to do, just to make my life a little bit easier in this process, is I pulled off all the plastics in the seat, and then we just gotta get to the ECU. This is the ECU, so this is step number one. We're gonna pull this ECU out, so that way I can send this into them to get it tuned. All right, there she is, just one plug right here. And then uh, this here is covered up by this whole sleeve that the computer is in, so. Pop the computer out, pull the sleeve off. I can send this in to go get her tuned. Let's start working on everything else. All right, next we're gonna do the intake tube here. So to do that, we're gonna pull off the filter and then pull out the stock OEM reeds. And then this will go in place of that. And that's gonna be this stuff right here. This comes out and this is gonna go in place of that. So literally all you pretty much have to do is take like an X-Acto knife screwdriver, just like a little like rubber cement around that, just to make a seal, cut it out, pull it out with some pliers, the new tube will go in. All right, so got that. So this is the reeds that comes out. So this is what comes out, this is what goes in place, and you can see obviously we're gonna get a lot more air now because the throttle body is right there. All right, and there she is. That's what she looks like in there. It does help to take out the air sensor. So I gotta just pop that air sensor back in real quick. And then the first mod here, this part is done. All right, next we'll kill two birds with one stone. We'll do the fuel rail, the new fuel rail. And at that point, I mean, we we're, might as well do like the exhaust grunt style manifold and then everything exhaust wise, because in order to get the manifold, to the from the header itself we'll have to pull the exhaust off and anyways to get to the fuel rail we've got to pull the exhaust off too so we got to get in there so exhaust comes off next all right here's the new fuel rail 
next to the old fuel rail. And this puppy goes right in this line and then goes right back up underneath. There is the fuel injector itself. And then I had to get the screws out by basically taking off the exhaust on the other side. So this will go back in here and go up into the uh, injector itself. I actually just realized this after the new fuel rail, but here's the fuel filter. So might as well pull that off because this is the new fuel filter that goes in place of that one. So that'll happen. Uh, I'll do that right now too. That's an upgrade right there. Here's your old fuel filter. It's nice that they give you real nice clamps too, like new, uh, new hose clamps. So awesome. All right, so that is in. You'll see it right up under here. That's the new fuel rail. And if you see it on this side, you'll see it says pin it right there. And then this is the new fuel filter, which is pretty neat. So that all looks pretty good. So honestly, all I gotta do now is take this header tube off so I could do the manifold. And then we'll put the exhaust back on the bike. And when we put the exhaust back on the bike, it's easier to, they say it's easier to bolt the exhaust back on to pop this cap off to put our new cap on. All right, guys, I actually did find this. This says pin it, so I kept looking at pin it stuff. And the fuel filter and the fuel rail is pin it. So look, this actually goes on the bottom of the tank. It's already built. Like, it's already built. So like, if I go up to here, that's why, that's what this is. But that doesn't look built to me. Like, this is already built. I didn't realize that. So it's, it comes pre-built. And then it basically tells you prevents uh, prevents things on the trail from grabbing your fuel line, ripping it off, which can leave you stranded easily. Installation, a must for the bikes. Blah blah blah. So I didn't realize that. So let me uh, we'll put this on, and then that will clean up that whole area. All the fuel line from the injector to the tank will all be pin it. All right, all in all, that looks better now. Now you got your fuel rail, your fuel filter, and your 90 degree all from pin it obviously all from best old sport bike so that should be in good shape now hopefully i didn't lose too much fuel you'll see a little bit on the ground but i didn't drip too much out i think that's pretty good there's no kinks or anything the biggest thing they all say is make sure nothing touches a starter motor which i got a full i got no issues there so this is all good so i'm glad i found out what that is so literally all i have to do now is the manifold and the the uh, tip there of the exhaust. You can see right there, that's pretty much what I gotta get to. If the camera will focus, I gotta get to right in there. So right where this header pipe goes, pull this spring off, spring on that side, then replace that. And this here is the difference between exhaust manifolds. So this is the old one, obviously just pop that off new one right here so we'll get this on all right and so now the new manifold is on right there now i can start bolting back the exhaust we'll throw that header pipe back on mid pipe and exhaust or well, muffler i guess if you will and then we'll get that cap on then she'll be done holy crap got the exhaust end cap off no wonder no wonder this thing can't breathe this thing looks like a 90s vhs tape inside there so Either way, old cap off. This is insane. I'm gonna pull all that stuff out and then throw the new cap on. Wow, dude, that's insane. All right, guys, and that is it. End cap looks a lot better, a lot more flowy, if you will. And this is it. This is six of the seven steps. The last part of the seven steps is getting a computer. So honestly, well, this is everything we took off. Here's obviously the old end cap. Here is the manifold. This would be like the reeds and intake, the intake reeds and everything. We got ourselves the old fuel rail. This is the old fuel filter. Look how small that is. That's why they got a new bigger one because this thing clogs. And then this would be the that tank fitting thing that I couldn't figure out what it was for a while. So next time you see this bike, I mean, I'm going to swap wheels and tires and stuff over, but next time I'm going to end the video right now. We're going to get the computer and then we'll get the computer back in and we'll get her started up and see how she runs.
a few moments later. All right, so it is a few days later and I just got the ECU back from Best Dual Sport Bike. So I just put it in the bike and I have not started it yet. This is going to be the very first start. Now I do assume it's gonna take a little while just because there's no fuel, you know, there's no fuel in there because we had to mess with the fuel stuff. So let's see if we get this bike started. Good. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Man, it sounds good. It sounds really good. It's a little smoky in here. Just because I have some grease that I put on the exhaust manifold that is burning off. But so far, no fuel leaks, no nothing. I just let it idle, I don't know, until the fans just came on. I still do got to, uh, I got to go for a drive, obviously, but it's like also like 35 degrees outside. It looks deceiving, I know. So I am actually going to wrap the video up here and just say like, this was all the install and so far the bike actually, well, whatever, it runs. We will get to test driving this bike here in a little bit, but it's kind of wild to think that all this parts right here plus the ECU was almost like 800 bucks. So I hope I, I hope it's money well spent. Either way, we're gonna get some riding in on the bike so that way I can actually, you know, tell you how it feels and stuff like that. I'll see if I get a GoPro mounted up to my helmet and whatnot. And then, uh, I don't know, so far it sounds a lot better. That is for sure, that is dang sure. It sounds great. It uh, sounds a lot more, um, I don't know, like, like even just cracking the throttle, you can feel it a little bit more. It's not as hesitant. So either way, I'm gonna make sure this is obviously tidied up. I still gotta check air pressure and stuff. I haven't ridden on these wheels and tires for quite some time, so safety is key. I wanna make sure everything's good. We'll find a really nice day outside. We'll go for a couple rips, and then I'll get back with you guys on, you know, the differences. And, and I'll get back with you guys on just in general, how this thing rides compared to how it did before. So I uh, hope, someone found this video interesting uh like the video if you haven't already subscribe join the family join all the content that we uh we put out here on this on this channel we've got a bunch of vehicles we like to play with here so uh see y'all guys next week peace